More now on Donald Trump's claims that there is widespread voter fraud in American elections. We reported earlier most experts say actual cases of voter fraud at the polls are extremely rare, in part because they're very difficult to pull off. According to one study from a professor at Loyola Law School, there have been just 33 known cases, 31 known cases, I should say, of people impersonating somebody else at the polls out of more than a billion votes in American elections between 2000 and 2014. Peter Ducey, live in Washington with that. Peter? And, John, it really depends on who you ask if you want to know whether or not there's a lot of in-person voter fraud. But one person that we spoke to this morning told us that there's not a lot of it because there's a stiff penalty that people are trying to avoid. And it is just hard to do given the redundant procedures that many polling places use. In our study at the Brennan Center, we've shown that if you look statistically, it is more likely that uh, a person in the United States will be struck by lightning than that we will experience in-person voter fraud at the polls on Election Day. With that said, there were about 943,000 ballots rejected in 2012, but those were all mailed in and generally not counted because of mistakes with paperwork, which some argue is a sign that the system works. John. But Donald Trump is obviously very emphatic about his position. Is there any evidence to back up his claims? Uh, we spoke also uh, this week with somebody from the conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, who said there is some evidence that there have been enough people voting in this country before they become citizens of this country that could tilt a close election. And one of the biggest vulnerabilities also is the fact that while it's illegal for non-citizens to register and vote, um, it's really an honor system. Uh, election officials uh, don't really have a, a way of verifying that. Trump has been urging his supporters to hang out at their local polling places on Election Day and keep an eye out for anything that looks suspicious so they can flag voter fraud right away. But in one swing state, Pennsylvania, the Secretary of State spoke in the last hour and said he doesn't think there's anything to worry about. To imply that fraud is rampant at any level, from the precinct to an entire city or state is without merit and lacks any credence or proof within the modern history of elections in this country, including this Commonwealth. And there is some concern by some Trump critics that if he sends poll watchers out on Election Day, there are some voters that could be scared away. John. Peter Ducey in Washington. Thanks, Peter.